Hi, I'm Emily with the Calcasieu Parish Public Library, and ever since I was a little girl, I have always loved Nancy Drew. And this April actually marks the 94th anniversary of when the first book was published. I actually have that book with me right here. It's The Secret of the Old Clock. As of today, there are over 175 Nancy Drew novels, six feature films, three television shows, and over 30 video games. So in honor of Nancy's 94th birthday, I've decided to bake her a cake to celebrate. I've decided to make her a wacky cake, which was a cake that was very popular in the 1930s. I decided to bake this cake because not only was the book published in 1930, but I wanted to make something a little special and more authentic to that era. A wacky cake does not have butter, milk, or eggs because it had scarce ingredients and it was very inexpensive to make, which is why it became so popular during this time. So come along with me and we are gonna go and make Nancy Drew a wacky cake. Come on. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to get all of your baking equipment out. As you can see, I have two mixing bowls, some measuring cups and spoons, and I'm just going ahead and putting in a cup and a half of flour, one cup of sugar, four tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. And these are all of the dry ingredients that we're working on right now. Once you have all of the dry ingredients together, then we'll be able to move on to our second mixing bowl with the wet ingredients. Okay, now we're putting that bowl aside and we're moving on to our second mixing bowl where we're focusing on the wet ingredients. And we only have four wet ingredients for this recipe. We're starting off with six tablespoons of vegetable oil. We'll have one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one cup of water. Once you have all of your wet ingredients, you're going to want to mix those all together until it's nice and even. Now that we've mixed all of the wet ingredients together, we're going to move on to what is one of my favorite parts of the baking process, which is pouring the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. So now, just going to slowly pour in the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. And then we'll start mixing that all together and when you mix the batter you're gonna want to mix it all the way you don't want to see any of the white flour you also want to try to scrape the edges of the bowl to try to get any extra product that may be on the sides This recipe calls for an eight by eight inch baking dish, but I didn't have one of those, so I just improvised with what I had in my pantry. And fortunately, it all turned out well. Um, I will say, if you are mixing it, I would recommend using a hand mixer. That might make it a little bit easier because you're definitely gonna wanna get all of those like flour clumps kind of out of the way, but Everything ended up okay on my end, so we're all good. Once you've poured all of the batter into a baking dish, this is what it's gonna look like right before you put it in the oven. And you're gonna wanna set your oven to 350 degrees and bake it for 30 minutes. And once it's been 30 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to take it out of the oven and you can use a toothpick to kind of stick in there. If there is no batter on it, it means that your cake is ready. But if there is batter on it, you're gonna to wanna to put it in for up to 10 more minutes. This is the final look. I think it turned out really nice. It definitely smelled great and it tasted even better. 
So there you have it, the final wacky cake for Nancy Drew. I was really proud of myself. I'm not typically a baker, but I think this turned out great. So if maybe you're new to baking as well, it is very easy. And there's my little slice of cake that I cut out for me. And yeah, it was really good. Let me take a bite. It was absolutely delicious. And there you have it, a wacky cake that's perfect for Nancy Drew or any chocolate lover. You can pair this with any frosting that you'd like, or if you want a scoop of ice cream, you can also put it on there. And if you're looking for your next Nancy Drew reread, or maybe if you've never heard of Nancy Drew and you'd like to discover her for the first time, come and visit us at the Calcasieu Parish Public Library. We have a variety of books, movies, and TV shows all about her that you can check out completely for free. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.